Hello, I'm going to show you a magic trick using a standard deck of cards. I'm going to show you the trick and then I'm going to explain why the trick works and it works because of the magic of numbers. So I'm going to start by dealing some cards out in little piles onto the table to the side of me. So let me deal some piles of cards. There are my piles of cards. I'm just going to try and turn them over the other way so we can't see what they are. And then I'm going to invite a member of the audience to pick out three piles of cards. That one, that one, and that one you pointed yep. to, yes. So these are my three selected piles. A member of the audience has chosen them. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell you what the top three cards in those piles add up to. And I'm just going to count these cards. And I can tell you now that the top cards here add up to 14. 5, 9, and 5 is 14. So how does the trick work? Well, the answer is it's magic and it is a trick. And so I'm going to now explain to you why it works. When I counted out these piles of cards, they were not random. The card I start with, 5, I now count from that point onwards up to 11. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now I start my next pile. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And so on. If you put a jack picture card down, that counts as 10. So 10, 11. And also, it's possible that the last pile that you deal out will not, of course, come out to 11, in which case you have to hold it back, say that you can't choose that pile. As a magician, you have to find a, a magical way of simply convincing your audience that the last pile doesn't matter. Sometimes it will work, it will come out, it just depends how the cards have been shuffled. So why does it work then? Well, I'm going to show you a graphic now. To explain it. Let's call the value of the first card x and so the number of cards in the first pile is 1 plus 11 minus x and in the example here it's 1 plus 11 minus 4 which is 1 plus 7. Similarly let's call the value of the second card y and so the number of cards in the second pile is 1 plus 11 minus y. In the example it's 1 plus 11 minus 7 which is 1 plus 4. And finally, if we call the value of the third card z, then the number of cards in that pile is 1 plus 11 minus z. In the example, 1 plus 11 minus 9, which is 1 plus 2. So altogether, the number of cards in the three piles is 1 plus 11 minus x, plus 1 plus 11 minus y, plus 1 plus 11 minus z. And if we add those three equations together, we get 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3, 11 plus 11 plus 11 is 33, minus x minus y minus z. So the total is 3 plus 33, which is 36, minus x plus y plus z. Because minus x minus y minus z is the same thing as minus x plus y plus z and x plus y plus z is the sum of the top three cards in the piles. Now if I'm holding the rest of the cards, and we know there are 52 cards in a standard pack, then if the number of cards I'm holding is, say, n, then n plus the number in the pile must add up to 52. So n plus 36 minus x plus y plus z equals 52. Now, 
If I add or subtract the same number from each side of my equation, it will still be true. Think of a weighing scale which is balanced. If I add the same amount to both sides, it will still balance. So I'm going to subtract 36 from both sides of the equation, which gives me n plus 36 minus x plus y plus z minus 36 equals 52 minus 36. So this is the same as n minus x plus y plus z equals 16. So I've now got the formula n minus x plus y plus z equals 16. I'm now going to add x plus y plus z to both sides. So I get n equals 16 plus x plus y plus z. Finally, I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides and I end up with n minus 16 equals x plus y plus z. In other words, the sum of the top three cards is the number of cards I'm holding minus 16. So to find the number of the top three cards, you have to just simply count the cards that are left, subtract 16, and the number that you have remaining is the sum of the top three cards in the piles. So that's how it works. When I count the cards out at the end, I count up to 16, and then I start again at 1. And so that gives me the sum of the top three cards straight away. So now you know how to do the magic trick. It's the magic of numbers. You can now try it out on your friends. Thanks very much for watching.